Hey guys, I'm BTC and this is Feed the Beast. All right, so first off, you probably noticed that the last two videos were kind of out of order. And that's because I had recorded yesterday's video first. And then I went and recorded the one with the uh, vintage beef later on in the day. So that kind of messed it up a little bit. And the one that I had with beef was, I think, like, what, 35, 40 minutes, somewhere around there. So I kind of didn't want to put them together because they would have been way too big. And I also wanted to put it out on the same day that beef did. So anyways, that's why it was kind of wrong order. But anyways, so let's look at... Let's do a quick little recap of what has happened since that was maybe possibly a bit confusing. I discovered concrete walls, which are pretty cool. I mean, actually, I didn't really discover them. I knew they had been around for a while and I knew about them, but I decided that I wanted to use them to make the Central Park area because it, it reminds me of the walls that you would see in like a major city for the park and stuff. And here we have the road system that Beef helped me out with. And how this is, we have a regular uh, basalt, basalt, and then an anti-cover basalt, and then a cover marble, cover, cover marble, anti-cover basalt, and then more basalt. And that's how that works. And it works for all of them and we got a decent amount done I mean there's still quite a bit of road to do but I think it's gonna look pretty cool now there is gonna be track down this uh, down the sides and that's a I mean I know it's gonna kind of take away from it a little bit but it's kind of a necessity in order to actually move the carts so I showed a couple of different carts the other day and my plans are to have kind of uh, a, a police bot kind of thing going around. Um, I, I was kind of imagining like the first generation Terminators, the ones from, is it the third movie, I think, where they don't really look humanoid. They're more, you know, giant um, uh, guns on wheels, basically. So I was going to create the... Um, let me see. Oh, that's another thing I got to talk about. I was going to create the advanced shooters right there. Uh, these, the shooters are not worth it at all. I, I mean, I suppose you could, you could probably come up with some use for them, but they don't target and they just shoot at random intervals. So it, it doesn't, I don't know. It would be good for like, I don't know, some sort of, um, some sort of uh, arena, maybe, or something like that, but that's about it. Look at the little worms moving around. So I'm going to have the advanced shooter bots kind of policing the entire town. And it just keeps going. And we also discovered that underneath the... Uh, or if you place a torch or some lighting source underneath the anti-blocks, it'll get rid of the weird discoloration when it gets dark but anyway so that's that's that and um, what I would like to do today is I was thinking about laying all the foundation for the factory but I can't do that until I get rid of these barrels and I can't get rid of these barrels until my what do you call it uh, warehouse thing is is all setting up so I'm going to try to get that done today. So I'm going to be making some routers and trying to get that system to work. Now, this right here, these are the, the telephone poles that I'm going to be using. And people have been suggesting using string and stuff, but I think actually in yesterday's video I tried that, and the string just doesn't look good. So the string doesn't look good, and... I am not sure if I can actually run like red power lines over it because it doesn't seem to, I don't know, it, like, I think I also tested that yesterday as well. You have to, see this is, this is the problem with doing videos out of order. 
in order for the red power lines to actually, you know, be there, you have to have a block underneath them. So maybe maybe what I can do is I can try to put this um, on here, but I don't I don't know. I'll 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 figure out something, or maybe I'll just leave the you know the the poles wireless. Who knows? All right, so let's go and make some routers. Now, using routers, I actually I, I did a little test on the uh, on a single player creative, and basically what it will do is it uses the ender to transmit all the items throughout the barrel network, and that means you don't need pipes, uh, you don't need to do this staggered thing. It is a lot less expensive, and it also allows probably for a, a, a better design than, than this. Uh, I mean, this doesn't look bad, but I think maybe if they were stacked on top of each other, it would probably be better. All right. Oh, actually, before I go into that, I do want to mention this real fast. Someone uh, pointed out about using cracked sand and stuff in order to use in order to get saltpeter to make the fertilizer that I would need for the multi-block farms. But the thing is, is I don't, you know, there's a finite amount of the problem. I'm like trying to say three things at once. The problem with that is there is a finite amount of cracked sand. And let me, let me look here. Cracked, cracked. Oh, 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 uh oh. All right, guys, so I am back. Apparently, if you search for crack in the items menu, it crashes your game. Drugs are bad, kids. Don't do drugs. No, actually, my internet's been being dumb for the last couple weeks. For some reason, my downloads are fine, but uploads get all broken, and it causes me to keep getting kicked or just having a terrible connection. Perfect example is when I'm on TeamSpeak or Skype, I can hear everybody crystal clear, perfect. Mm -hmm. But when I try to talk, it sounds all robotic and broken up. So uh, what I was talking about before I was rudely interrupted was crack sand. Mm -hmm. And you can actually use crack sand to make the saltpeter to make the fertilizer. But the problem with that is at least according to the in-game menu, there's no way to make crack sand. Now, you can combine crack sand with a water bucket to make normal sand, so that makes me believe that maybe if I put sand in a squeezer or something, maybe it'll, maybe it'll um, give me crack sand. I don't know. I guess I'll probably have to check online somewhere for that because the, the in-game thing doesn't tell you. And actually, let me let me see something. If I use sand, see if you use a compressor, it's just gonna make the sandstone. If you use a squeezer and phosphor, then you get lava. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can use it to make crack sand. But anyways, there's another way you can actually make the saltpeter that you need to for the fertilizer as well, which is um, grinding up ender eyes. And then I think you put it in a centrifuge or something like that. And you'll get uh, either a centrifuge or the electrolyzer, one of those. And you'll get some of the different materials that you need to make saltpeter. So I could have used an ender farm to have the perpetual multi farms. But honestly, I kind of like the Steve's Steve's cards better. I don't know. Maybe so maybe once I get everything up and running, I'll make an ender farm. I know somebody else already has one, but you know, I need it to go to my my base, not theirs. So maybe I'll make a small ender farm and then I'll have some multi-block farms running for something or other. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do it for the, the rubber tree farm. Um, I don't know. Anyways. So for the whole crack sand thing, you know, I want a perpetual system, not a system where I have to constantly go and mine uh, 
or um, what do you call it, uh, quarry or something. And on top of that, I I want the the uh, the crack sand. I mean, that's why. Well, one of the reasons why I'm in the wasteland is because it looks desolate. And if I go and take away all the crack sand to use in the farms, then it's not going to look how I want it to look. Anyways, all right. So we got to actually go do something. And I wanted to start up the routers. So let's go over here. I think I have some materials. Material girl in the chest. I do. I've got some eye of enders and I've got some uh, blocks of dark iron, which are made by using a wrath igniter. And you just place the uh, place the iron on the ground and then you use the wrath igniter on it and then you get uh, dark iron. All right, so we want to make routers. Not crowders. Routers. So we need to make a router, which is actually pretty simple. It's just an ender pearl, an egg. I, I don't know. I don't know why there's an egg. And an eye of ender, and then dark iron. So I've got I have Ender. I've got some Ender pearls in there. I need an egg. <laughs> Why does this have an egg? I cannot. I cannot understand. Of all the things, of all the things to make a magical router out of, why an egg? And you know what? I don't think I actually have any eggs. I don't have any eggs it would probably be in this one no I don't wow I need to go and get eggs I can't believe that that's kind of a silly thing to need all right well I know that there are chickens over there so I'm gonna go and grab those I will be back in a second so why did the chicken cross the road because I needed eggs that's that's pretty much who, who knew it was such a, a simple answer? All right, so this took me like 30 minutes. Not even kidding. There were no chickens anywhere in the area. So I had to go like way over there, way over there to find even two chickens. Come on. Come on, chickens. Get over here. All right, so I gotta get these little guys in here. There we go. And I actually want to make some more chickens. All right, oop, took my jetpack off. Yeah, it took me it took me like 30 minutes to get those chickens. I, I can't I can't believe it. Like I went everywhere looking for those chickens. I went over there. Um, I went over over there. There was I found one chicken way over there in the birch forest. There was none over there, and the only ones I I found four of them way over there. Uh, two of them stopped following me, and then I just bred the baby chicken. But man, that was such a pain. Who knew? Now, I wonder, I don't think, I don't think they follow you if you have these seeds, no. Because that was another thing, like I kept, uh, I kept breaking tall grass, and I was getting everything except, <laughs> everything except the seeds I needed. So, I do have two eggs, so I can make the two routers that I need. I still think it's kind of, <laughs> why do you need eggs? for routers, I don't know, whatever. All right, anyways. So let's go up here. And I should have some, oh, I'm lagging again. There we go. And then we're gonna break, uh, eh, let's just break them all, there we go. And now I need router. All right, so. I need two of these, and I also need the 
ejector, which should be pretty simple to make. So just a piston and pressure plate. Um, I am not, or I'm out of um, pistons on me, but I should have some in here somewhere. Yep. So one, two, actually, how many do I need? I just need the two. So I need to make the ejector. Actually, no, I just need the one. Just need the one. And I really should probably make a... I really should probably make the speed booster. And... Bandwidth. I should make some... I should make bandwidth and speed booster upgrades. We'll, we'll do that later. Uh, for right now, I just want to get this stuff working. Alright guys, so I figured out what the issue was and why this wasn't working. Let me first explain how this system will work. These routers are physically connected to the chest and to the barrels, and that creates a network. Now, these barrels here are not physically connected, like this one and these, they're not physically connected, so they're not in the network. However, this entire bottom row is. So what I'm gonna to need to do is I actually need to move these back one and, and make them all vertical. So here's what happens. An item gets placed in here and I'll end up changing this to an ender chest or something. And then it gets extract from this one into this router. This router, because it has the ejector upgrade, will then eject it into this one and then this one will try to insert the item wherever I want it to go. Now in this case, because it doesn't have the machine filter, I just set it to insert into anywhere. Now what this means is sometimes it will actually insert it back into the original chest, in which case it will just keep cycling until it finally places it in a barrel somewhere. So let me show you real fast. Uh, I'll use um, I'll use dark iron so that you can see it. So there it goes. It actually put it all the way down here. Now this won't be an issue because eventually all these barrels will have at least one of the item that I want to be in there. So it won't be able to place the item in there unless it's the correct item. Now this can also be solved by using an upgrade called thoroughness, which I can actually go and make right now. It's pretty simple. So the thoroughness upgrade, we just need one. And take all this stuff back. And put that right there. The thoroughness upgrade will try to place the item into the same container that already has that item. In this case, it'll be barrels. So we're gonna put this in there. And if you look, it, you, it doesn't have any options. It just says thoroughness always finishes serving machines. So hopefully, what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna put one dark iron ingot in here and then I'm going to put another one in here. And it should put two in there, which it doesn't. And that's kind of annoying. I guess it only works with the machine filter. So I still need the, oops, I still need the machine filter in order for it to, actually, you know what? Let me, let me see something. Let me, uh, let me just put a bunch of, a bunch of iron in there and see where they go. So there's four in there. All right, let me let me try this again then. So I'm gonna put a couple more in. I'm just actually, I'm gonna put the whole stack in. See, and you can see sometimes it puts it back over here. But it moves pretty fast. So, Hmm. Eventually it will stop, but it does seem to be putting them. Yep. There it goes. So it's putting them all in there, 
which is fine. Actually, I think this one might be, yeah, this one is uh, kind of full. So there you have it. So now, because of, so apparently the thoroughness does work, actually. I don't know what happened with that. Maybe, did I have one down here or something? I don't know. Maybe it was just being weird. But, or actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's because it didn't place it in the barrel. I don't know. I, I have no idea, but it, it's working now, so whatever. So what will happen is it will now place all the dark iron in this barrel because there's already dark iron in there. Now, there are other things that we can get to improve these. You can get the uh, speed boost, which will just, you know, obviously put the items faster. Uh, that's actually not difficult to make. However, I do need more eggs, so I got to wait for those chickens. And then you have the bandwidth, which is really good. Uh, what that will do is rather than moving an individual item, it moves an entire stack. So that will be really good. So that combined with the speed boost will make it just cruise through and, and put everything there. The machine filter allows you to select what you want the items to go into. So eventually I'm going to want a machine filter here to set it to barrel so that it doesn't do that loop thing. However, machine filters require a logic matrix identifier. And in order to make that, you need, uh, you need a crystallizer, which I don't have just yet. That's, that's not really that difficult. But the thing that is difficult is this thing right here, the logic matrix programmer. And it says it has a recipe for it, but the recipe includes itself. And this recipe actually shouldn't even be in the game because the logic matrix programmers, I think that's what it was, can only be found in dungeons. And I actually found a couple on the old server, the old Feed the Beast server, but I don't think I have any here because I really haven't been looking for dungeons here or doing any of the caving or anything like that. So I'm actually gonna have to go looking around for dungeons and uh, seeing if I can find some of those. And maybe maybe some of the other guys are using them that they, they don't need, but. So anyways, this will now make it so that I can put my ender chest here and everything from the quarries will get pumped uh, pumped right into all the correct barrels, which is fantastic. And it also means that I don't need any piping whatsoever. And I can also take all the, oops. I can also take all of these barrels and stack them vertically which is also cool. So I think what I'm going to have to do off camera is I'm going to actually have to rip all this down again and I'm going to have to redesign it so that uh, they're all vertical and on top of that they all have to be physically connected in some way or another. So when I get to the end here what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to probably have some barrels going across the top and I'll probably put some uh, I don't know what you would call them blocker items in there like maybe a single torch or something like that so that way the routers don't try to put items in them because there'll be torches in there or I don't know maybe I can put something else I don't know I'll figure out something some item that's you know rarely used but anyways so that will go along here, then it'll go along the wall, and then it'll loop back down there. And I tested this on a creative server, or not a single player creative, and it seems like the router can place items for as long as the chunk is loaded. I had, I think, like 200, maybe, maybe it was even up towards 300 barrels, like going way, 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 way down there then looped back around and came all the way back and the router was putting in items in the very last chest so um, it can it can go very very far but you do need the other upgrades otherwise it will take a, a very long time in order to to check all the different barrels and stuff so but anyways 
So this is going to be a really simple, I mean, rather than getting all the pneumatic tubes and, and all the other stuff, I just need this. And, you know, with a couple more filter upgrades or whatever, it'll be done. So, not bad. Not bad at all. all right. So, I did quite a bit of work here in the, I don't know, the bunker, I suppose, which is going to act as the warehouse. And as you can see, there are a lot of barrels on the walls and in the middle here and, you know, right here. And then here is where all the different uh, wood types will be. And then the saplings and stuff. Now, the reason why there are gaps is because, well, there are two different types of gaps. There are these types of gaps right here, which is because there are no other types of those blocks. And it doesn't need to go all the way up. And the other gaps are those right there where... There are currently no blocks right there, and I really didn't feel like doing the blocker or filler blocks for the entire thing. So as you can see, there's a, a single stick in all of these barrels, and that will prevent the router from placing items into these barrels that I don't want. So my thought process was, you know, I have all the blocks that I need, and then for this area, like right here, what I'm actually going to do is... Let me grab one of these. This is what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of make it look like there are actually still barrels there. But I'm just going to use the wood to fill in the places where there doesn't need to be barrels. So, you know, if there doesn't need to be um, an item slot, then it's just going to be wood. So that way it will be flat all the way around and I'll be able to have a nice even um, top to all of this. And then these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. So what I'm gonna have is hanging down from the ceiling, I'm probably gonna have some of the inverted cage lamps so this actually looks like a warehouse. And uh, it should be pretty cool when it's done. Now, let me put those away. I've done some upgrades to the routers and well let me show you over here first because i want to show you so there's one stack right there of the whatever that is the the water shard and then oops here we have a bunch of the ores and the thing is is i left room for expansion because i may not have uh, a single block or a single type of all of them. I did look through the too many items uh, inventory spot, but um, it well, I, sh I should have I should have everything that I need. But just in case I miss one here or there, I left expansion. So you know, in case there's more. Gem oh, why is that there? There's just some. Some pink dye just kind of sitting there. Actually, I know what happened with that. Uh, the barrel itself was invisible when I went and chopped all these up, and I was testing the router, and it must have put the dye in there. But because the barrel was invisible, um, I couldn't see it, didn't know it was there. So this is for expansion in case there's more gems or whatever that I find. And then if I find more ores, and then I'm sure I'll f have more different ingots and what have you and then the powders and stuff and then like this I just don't want I didn't want to fill them with sticks or whatever so all right so let me show you what I actually did to the routers like I said I did put a couple of new upgrades in them so I have this is the the basic router part then I put a speed boost in uh, both of them and I also well the thoroughness you already saw and I also put a bandwidth so right now this one will move entire stacks pretty quickly and it will always try to put them in a barrel that already has an item in it and this one has you know this is the regular uh, then it has the uh, speed boost it has bandwidth 
and it also has the eject one. So what I've been doing is I've been breaking the barrels up there and putting the items in the ender chest, and then it goes and it sorts it. So um, I showed you that the blue rose right there, and then we'll look at you know the tin and the silver for indicators, and also the well the gems got a bunch of them in there, but. All right, so I'm going to throw, oh, and the amber should be one stack as well. So I'm going to throw these in, and as you can see, it is starting to take them out and move them. Now, because I don't have the machine filter on this one, it still has that loop thing where it may not find the barrel fast enough, so it puts it back into the ender chest. But because it's going so fast and it's moving the entire stack, it's not really that big of a deal right now. But as soon as I find the uh, logic matrix programmer or whatever it's called, I should be good. So as you can see, it just took all of those stacks and sorted them. So... Let me see if I can find them. So here are the water shards. And here's the the tin and the silver, which these originally only had one. And this only had one as well. So it does a, a pretty good job of sorting this stuff. I mean, that was really fast. I mean, it sorted that in, you know, how, how, how many stacks was that? Maybe like, oh man, I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe... What, 10, 12, 15, somewhere around there? Anyways, it was a decent amount of stacks. And it already took all of them and put them where they're supposed to be. And it doesn't require any pipes or anything. So, I mean, that's that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. It's pretty fast. So, what I'm going to have going on is when I have my quarries going... All the and I'll probably end up changing this into like a, a tesseract or something later on. And what will happen is all the items will get pumped into there, and then the routers, like as soon as they're come, and because these things, because this router moves so fast, as opposed to like the the build craft pipes, I'll be able to really ratchet up the uh, the quarry. Like last time I was running the quarry. I had, uh, what was it, eight, <laughs> eight redstone engines pumping out of the ender chest, and it was barely keeping up. So if I put more, then it's definitely, <laughs> you know, it definitely wouldn't be able to handle it. But that router uh, system, that can, I, I could max out the quarry, and it will probably not have a problem with the uh, the router system. So one last thing I want to show you before I end this video, and you can actually see some of it now. You can see the ender effects, the, the little stars or sparkles, whatever you want to call them. They're getting transmitted out to the coal barrel, because right now it's sorting coal, and it's sending it to the barrel. And you can see, like, the ender dust or whatever gets sent to the barrel and then it adds it and then it has to go back so that's kind of the the slowdown for the transmission of the routers but it it is kind of cool that you can actually see it you know transmitting wirelessly uh, via the ender or whatever you want to call it so that about wraps this video up I do have a little bit more that I need to do with this, but thankfully uh, the majority of this warehouse stuff is going to be done. I just have to clear out the rest of the barrels up top, and uh, then I can start building the factory and I can put the solar panels up and stuff, and I definitely need to because this is completely empty now. Completely empty because I put a whole bunch of bauxite dust in here and it just kept grinding it and it 
used up all the power in that and I think the bat box is pretty much done as well yep now these machines still have a little bit of juice but you know that's not gonna last very long at all and the generators are completely out bio generators so that's about it so I gotta I gotta tear this thing down and then I gotta build the factory and until then I really won't have any power so but anyways, going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Hey, guys, you might know that I run a Minecraft custom map making build team, and we are currently looking for new people. So if you're good at building, making textures, or animating with programs like Blender or Maya, why don't you apply? You can go to blamethecontroller.com or click the link in the description.